Hello and welcome to Ducrass TV. Today we're joined by Karen Baker who's going to show us a really cool scrapbook page using the versatile X-Cut Circle Cutter. But first, I wanted to show you one of my scrapbook pages that features in the November issue of Creativity Magazine. It's this one here and it actually uses some of the papers from uh, a lot of the November collections. We've got a little bit of Art Deco paper, the newest Forever Friends collection here and some letters cut using the Carnival alphabet dies. It also features some behind the scenes shots of uh, photography from, the last, from, from that very issue actually, from the November issue and a little shot from Creativity TV. Hi Karen, welcome along. Hi. What are we going to make today? Well, just a scrapbook page, but using shape as the focus. Very um, nice. I think sometimes when you're trying to start off with scrapbooking, it's hard to know which papers to use, where do I put things, whereas if you think about shapes, it suddenly falls in to line quite easily, and we're just literally putting lots of different shapes together to create a very simple scrapbook page. Perfect. Good. Right, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is to cut out um, these rings. Now these are made with this great circle cutter. And the great thing about this is that it's movable. So whatever size circle you need, you just, and it's done in inches and centimeters. So I'm going to do a larger one. So I just slide it along and then it's got uh, this little dial on the top here, which you just tighten up. And then underneath, um, you've just got this. This is the blade and it's got a little cover to keep it safe. Perfect. Which is great. So what I would do then is just pop, I'll make it slightly smaller, I think. There you go. So just looking at the gauge here, it's actually about the, um, the diameter of the circle, isn't yes. it? So if you, um, I think if you're using like a compass, you'd have to sort of halve what you wanted, wasn't yes. it? So if we want a 26 centimetre circle, in the end, we just put it to 26. So there's no maths, yeah. even though no, it's, it's quite great. easy maths, but we haven't even got to think about that. It's all worked out for you. Um, it's got a little indent in the top where you can hold on to it. Lovely. And all you're going to do then is just with a sort of pressing downwards, just move it round. Okay, just keep moving it round. Don't move the centre bit, otherwise you'll end up with a, a wonky circle. So just take it all the way around. Nearly done. And there we go. Brilliant. The circle. Now normally you just stop there and that would be your circle good to go. But mm -hmm. because I'm wanting to use rings, all I need to do now is just lift it very slightly at the end, but still keeping hold of it on here, otherwise okay. I won't be able to ever find the centre again. Just move the dial and just move it in a little bit. Yeah. Tighten it up again, and then we just do exactly the same again. Okay, so now I've cut out my ring. I've also got the centre bit, so you can use this for even part of the scrapbook layout if you wanted Lovely. to. Um, so I've got several rings that I've done already. So I've just cut out different sizes, different coloured. I'm using the paper here, I'm using the um, capsule collection, um, some of the festive. Beautiful. Um, and then just a bit of the card, and you can see here just how thin you can That's cut the That's incredible, rings out. isn't it? I mean, if yeah. you were trying to cut that by hand, I mean, it's a little bit, a little bit big for die cutting, isn't it? Yes. But um, if you were literally trying to, you know, draw on your plate and then you'd have you just a sort of jaggedy it. edge, however yeah. careful you were, inevitably you get that, don't you? Lovely. So we've got all our different layers of our circle here. So to actually create the extra elements um, on the page, first of all, I'm going to show you how to just create the little um, dotted, it's like a bit like a flourish Very on the nice. page. Um, all I've done is, um, I've just, and you can see how roughly I've drawn it, just with the pen. And then what I've done is I've used the screw punch. And I've used a bit of craft tape to stick it to a piece of acetate. And then just punch through. There's one there left. Lovely. Now you could just keep the card, but I thought if you're going to go to the effort of doing this, You've now created yourself a little flourish template. Oh, we can keep that and use it over and over, can't we then? Yeah, so I can keep using that. Um, and then I can either dot it, you can actually use it in a doodling capacity oh, on lovely. your pages. Or you can just use it to put a pen through and then actually use the screw punch or just screw punch back through the holes that Perfect. you've made. Okay, so I'm just going to very lightly put it on there. And then I'm just going to, wherever I've got the holes, I've just got the perfect guide then. Ah, oh, it's very clever. Fantastic. Really see that. Okay, so we've got our little flourish, and then all I do is I'm just going to use a little bit of 
um, leftover cardstock. So I'll just measure roughly half. So we're going to have half green, and obviously we put it through, we can see it's showing. So I'll just cut a little bit of green, and then we'll cut a little bit of blue, and then we'll just secure it on the back. So we'll just pop there on the back. So when we look very through, nice. we've That's got our... It's very effective. Our multicoloured portion. Okay, so we're going to um, stick the, the rings down. Now what I've done here is with the ring, I've actually used it to journal on. Lovely. So I've got one here that I've done already and I've just used um, a white gel pen because sometimes people think that, you know, journaling should be on a separate piece of paper and it can be, that's yep. absolutely fine, but there are no great rules in scrapbooking. Scrapbooking is that's why it's what so you wonderful. make of it, absolutely. <laughs> so just Lovely. position that one. And that one's fitting perfectly inside. So did you just keep the, the, the uh, shape cutter at the exact same size? Yeah, between. just transferred it to another piece of paper. Perfect. We're going to pop the photographs on now. Okay, and then we're just going to put all of the circles here. I'm going to raise one up. Um, a lot of the scrapbook uh, pages, you know, the sort of the pockets that you put them into, have got room for some embellishments, so you don't need to keep it absolutely flat. Yeah. Sometimes it's nice to have elements actually disappearing off the edge of the page. You know, don't feel that you have to have it all within. Mm. Um, it's nice to have different sections used. Okay, so we've got our section there. And then we're just going to use some foam squares to raise up this little circle here. Lovely. Okay, so we've got Lovely. that one. Now we're just going to make um, these little circles here at the top. Um, the first circle, this I was just using the circle nesting dies. Yeah. Um, so I've just cut those out. Obviously, this, this will only go so small, and then we take over with the nesting dies. So they're really, really useful. They work really well together, don't yeah. they? Yeah. So I'm just going to add these. Now, because I've put the twine round, I've actually got sort of a slightly raised element, so I do need to put the foam sure. pads on so it doesn't, um, doesn't fit. Right, so we're going to make these uh, little whirls. Again, a little bit more acetate. Good. Acetate is, is such a great, great product. I'm actually going to add a circle. And this um, Anita's Tacky Glue is probably the best one because you've got a slightly longer drying time. Um, so as we add the little elements and twirl it round, yeah. it's not going to be dry by the end, by the time we get to the end. So to start off with, I'm just going to add a little bit of the glue to the edge and then just wind it the way that it's wound okay so we're just trying okay. to sort of firm the end up and then actually start off the circle um, in your fingers I found this is probably the easiest way to do it than try and do it on the glue it's sort of a string quilling isn't it yes there we go so we're just winding it round and once we've just got a little bit you will get a little bit sticky with this just make sure you press it down and what you need to try and do is be um, firm and just keep pressing it into the glue. Okay, I'm just going to chop off the edge and then just to finish it off, make sure it does stick, add another little bit of the glue and then just sort of press it on. Now I'm going to do this when it's not quite dry. Um, you can wait a little bit longer to do this if you want, but if you just gently peel it, you will find that it comes away. Ah, oh, yeah. And then you can leave it to dry upside down. So we're just going to add the final elements. So I'm just going to add these with um, these transparent dots. So just pop those on. So we'll add that one there. Let's move that up a little bit. And I'm just going to add our buttons. Right, so we'll put those on there. And then what I've done is I've actually got um, one of the carnival numbers, stamps and matching dies. I've stamped it in red onto some more of the um, pattern paper. So I'll put that on there. And then lastly, we're just going to use some of the craft pattern tape to act as a border above and yeah, beyond. Oh, very nice. Okay. So I'm going to, to put this on straight, I just use my craft mat. Oh, so you're just using the lines to, to yeah, line it up. Yeah, that's right. Then I know I've got it straight. And I'm using slightly more, and then I'm actually going to put the bottom of the craft tape along one of the lines and it just means that everything's lined up and I don't have to worry oh, about putting perfect. it on the skew with. And then all I'm going to do, I don't even need to cut it, if I just lift it and just put it over, flip it on the back and then we're just going to fold it through. And there we are. Beautiful, that's fantastic. 
Well, thank you so much for coming along today and showing us some scrapbooking. Pleasure. Um, it's always, uh, always fun to show how you can transition on techniques and ideas from card making into scrapbooking as yeah. well. If, you've, uh, if you're a card maker and you're thinking of having a go at scrapbooking, or indeed you've done your first page, why not drop us an email to tv at docrafts.com and uh, drop us a picture and we may feature your project on a future episode of uh, Docrafts TV or even in a future edition of Docrafts Creativity Magazine. Until next time, happy crafting.